Welcome to Talk Law Radio with attorney Todd Marquardt of the Marquardt Law Firm at MarquardtLawFirm.com. Welcome to Talk Law Radio. I'm your host, Todd Marquardt. Today's going to be a really exciting show because it's about the bipartisan Safer Communities Act. Key word, bipartisan. Who ever heard of that? Anyway, uh, we're going to be talking about that with uh, attorney Alex Vollmer. He's a continuing guest on the show. He's an attorney at Marquardt Law Firm, and I'm just really excited about this show. So today, uh, before we get started, I have to tell you about our sponsor, Marquardt Law Firm. Attorneys at Marquardt Law Firm focus on business and estate law, including last wills, living trusts, and tax-protected inheritance plans, and new businesses and old businesses which might have issues with corporations, contracts, LLCs, family limited partnerships, and we can represent those who are facing problems from lack of planning, like in district court, county court, or probate court. So we're not going to be given any legal advice today or on the radio or ever um, because the State Bar of Texas is the state agency that governs attorney law licenses. And even though they want us to give information to the public about the law, uh, material discussed in this program is meant for general pr informational purposes only. Before we get started talking about the law, let's begin with prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the gifts and blessings that you give to us. Please forgive us of our sins, for our mistakes, for doing the wrong thing or failing to carry out your will. Please help me and attorney Alex Vollmer give good information to the listeners today about the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. Help us to use the gifts and talents you have provided for the good of your people, for our own good, and for your glory, in Jesus' name, amen. Now it's time to discover your legal issue blind spots by listening to me talk about the law on the radio. Today's show is going to be about the new United States Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, and attorney Alex Vollmer and I will be discussing Title I of that act, which is access to mental health in schools, and Title II of the Act, which is uh, regarding firearms. We're on 9.30 a.m. The Answer. I'm Todd Marquart. With me is Alex Vollmer, attorney with Marquart Law Firm. Uh, Alex has lived in San Antonio his whole life. You were born here, right? I was. And he went to school here. Uh, where did you get your undergraduate? Um, uh, UTSA. So. Oh, okay. Yep. And then you went to St. Mary's, yep, uh, where I went. So we, we love St. Mary's grads. And tell us a little bit about your career after graduating from St. Mary's. Um, so immediately after graduating from St. Mary's and passing the bar, I went to work for the uh, Bear County District Attorney's Office as a prosecutor. And uh, I worked there for a few years. <clears throat> uh, and you did a lot of trials there. Yes, quite quite a few. Um, around 50 um, prosecuting various uh, you know financial violent and um, regulatory offenses and then um, left the district attorney's office and I was a uh, mainly did uh, criminal defense with a few other things but um, and and did had a lot of focus on um, firearms defense and and uh, crimes okay so you've been involved with firearms laws on the prosecution side and on the defense side, so you're very familiar with that. And then you also had an interest in uh, using trusts with yes. guns and firearms. Yes, absolutely. You know, the use of a trust, um, what we call an NFA trust, to uh, as a mechanism for applying for um, some firearms that are even more regulated than uh, what you can just go down to the gun store and purchase. Uh, so it offers some benefits in that process as well as some planning benefits. and um, Which we'll talk about yeah. at the end. But first we want to get to the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, 
which was uh, passed in Congress and the, the United States Senate and signed by President Biden. And so I think that's extraordinary that it would be passed with votes from both parties. It really is, especially in this day and age. So I wanted to define bipartisan um, for just people that maybe never use that word. And uh, I think the Oxford uh, Dictionary defined it as involving the agreement or cooperation of two political parties that usually oppose each other's policies. So that's why it's uh, so remarkable right now. And this uh, Safer Communities Act, um, it's now known as Public Law Number 117-159, and it includes a lot of things, which was also interesting to me. So on Talk Law Radio, we don't just talk about what our opinions about the law are. We're going to read segments of the law to you so that you can cut through all the other talking heads on other talk shows on Talk Law Radio. We want you to know what the law is. So this was passed at the end of June, and uh, we're, it took us a couple of weeks to, to read something about it. There, there's a, a little bit of pork in this legislation that just gives money to pay for things that are unrelated to uh, firearms control measures. Um, so that, that was also interesting to me. But the first thing in the law, um, the, in Title I, is about mental health and firearms. So what should we uh, talk about first in that regard, Alex? I mean, I would think how does mental health relate to firearms in the context of this Safer Communities bill? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I've long believed that one of the most effective strategies for, you know, reducing gun violence um, is going to be, uh, you know, access to mental health and, and the provision of mental health services. So I, I think that's, it's pretty obvious how it relates to it, but... Um, well, and it do, mental health doesn't just have to mean that there's um, uh, a mental disease or defect. It could just be like anger management. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, or... Uh, the prevention of domestic violence, teaching people how to be good spouses. Yeah, <laughs> communication. Right. Okay, so one thing that the this new law does is it expands access to community and school-based behavioral health services for children and families. What is it in the law that's going to expand access? Well, it's an appropriations bill. And what it's doing is earmarking or um, authorizing funding uh, to provide these services. New programs mm -hmm. for uh, mental health services at schools. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I believe it's 10 new states every two years. Yeah, that that's where it says um, the funding will expand the certified community behavioral health clinic demonstration program uh, in up to 10 new states every two years. So uh, I don't know what the demonstration program is, but I, well, I understand the other part that says certified community behavioral health clinic. Mm -hmm. So that, that sounds good. Um, the bill is also supposed to provide funding to increase access to telehealth services. Uh, during the pandemic, the, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, laws were passed uh, and regulations were implemented that allow mental health providers to provide services over like Zoom mm -hmm. and Teams and uh, video conferencing. So we have to take a break, but when we come back, we'll keep talking about the bipartisan Safer Communities Act and uh, so stay tuned. This has been Talk Law Radio with attorney Todd Marquardt, brought to you by the Marquardt Law Firm. You can learn more at marquardtlawfirm.com.
And be sure to listen to the full Talk Law Radio Show Saturday mornings at 11 on 930 AM, The Answer.